Hi guys, welcome back. This is episode 38 of You Can't Win Anything With Kids, and I'm Woody. I've actually recorded this intro about six times now because I was having some issues with the microphone. Hopefully they're all fixed. It's been driving me nuts. Anyway, um, I'm... I'm, I'm still in shock about how our last uh, episode ended with that end of season playoffs. I, I, I mean, just, we, we lose 2-1 to Barnsley. We're pretty, pretty, uh, we're not awful, but we're not great. Liam Miller rescues a goal for us at the end, which is crucial. Um, then we come and play Barnsley at home, and their goalkeeper, which was pointed out uh, by someone in the comments, ended up with a 2. Like, wow, but... We just, they score after 25 min minutes through Alex Samuel. Um, then, obviously, the man, the myth, the 19-year-old legend, Liam Miller, comes in. And he scores in the 73rd and 90th minute to take an extra time. And then we just, we open up a can on Barnsley. Dean, Miller again, Thompson, and then McIntyre to win 7-3 on aggregate. What a game. Liam Miller off the bench as well in the 65th minute. That's... Oh, and then we go into even an even crazier game against QPR. It's... They score after two minutes, and I'm like, crap. Then Liam Miller comes in after six, and I'm like, well, obviously we've got Liam Miller. Then Thompson and Starkey and Miller score, and before I know it, it's 4-1 at halftime, and I'm like, in the bag... Then we switch off at halftime. QPR bagging four goals. We're with an 89th minute goal. And I think it's all gone to hell in a handbasket. But Liam Miller just comes from nowhere. Oops. And rescues the game to take us to extra time. He then... Where's this 90th minute goal? This is brilliant here. Miller scored a couple of brilliant move. That was his hat trick. His 50th goal... They draw net level, and then Liam Miller headbutts Dom Dobson to get himself sent off. Extra time is scoreless, and we go to penalties. Big George scores, QPR scores, Gurney scores, QPR scores, Thompson scores, then they miss, and I'm like, yes, Kavanaugh scores, Coleman scores, and it is 4-3 with one left, and Starkey misses, QPR bag one back, but Heath scores, and then Robinson, he comes in at the end, and he misses. Oh no, Robinson misses, and he scores. They must have went first. Anyway, what an absolute roller coaster in front of sixty-five thousand eight hundred and twenty-eight fans. Wow. And now we're in the Premier League, and I'm not quite sure we're ready, but here we are. Finances and info. Uh, we've upgraded the stadium, fifteen thousand all seater. Finances are good. We got twelve mil in the bank. Uh, fixtures wise we went on a tour to Australia because I thought why not and it was pretty good we conceded one goal and scored a fair few so that was nice and easy uh, transfers wise it has been pretty pretty quiet to be honest we've only spent spent we've only signed two players but we have spent if we go back that is the highest we've ever spent we did one time spend 2.5 million that was in 2005-26 um, but we have spent 6.75 million. Um, James Sims is our biggest, highest transfer fee ever paid. 21 year old forward right centre from Bristol City. He looked pretty good last season, and we've we've splashed a bit of cash on him. And I think he could be an awesome, awesome player. He's just going to come in and give us a nice little balance to play, either potentially in the midfield, on the right because Gurney is a little bit injury prone and potentially up front as well maybe um, he's probably more of a wide man with those dribbling and uh, stats like that and then, then we got Cosman Lilly uh, li la, la, Cosman Cosman we got Cosman 21 year old R Romanian we paid 1.2 million from him from Dynamo Bucharest have a look at these stats the man is a machine 21 years old attacking midfielder He's fast, he's captain materials, good stamina, technique, he's got he's got stats in the right areas that I like. His bravery's not great, his balance and anticipation aren't great, but meh, okay. He's still pretty good. He comes in just to bolster up our midfield. Players out, Trey Pemberton, he is finally left after what one, two, three, four, five years doing nothing. 
Um, he was a good servant at the beginning of the game, um, but he just didn't cut it. And at 29 now, he should have left a long time ago, to be honest. The other one which may shock some of you is Ross Holmes. At 22, has been released. His contract ran out, and I thought, no, I, d I don't think he does much for our team. His acceleration, if we could bump that up, he would be a lot better, but he's just a little bit slow. Uh, strength is a little bit low in his work rate. I mean, I, I'm still not convinced that, you know, it was a good choice. But if you have a look, in League 2 and League 1, he was amazing. Championship, he didn't quite make the step up. So that's that's kind of why I said, see you later. Um, we've got a few transfers potentially coming in as well, but I'll just keep them under my hat and let you know when they come in. Um, we have got, I always say we're going to play three games in this first episode, and we never do. It's only two, so um, we've got Newcastle. Uh, how have they been doing recently? Uh, they are relegation candidates sort of last couple of years. Most of that one year, they're fourth. But other than that, they are relegation candidates pretty much all the time. And Wolves, who I think are pretty good. No, no, they've been relegation candidates as well. So nice little easy start there. Spurs, on the other hand, are probably a different kettle of fish. They've sort of fallen off a bit recently. Uh, and anyway, we will... Um, I just realised as well, because I'm a complete numpty, and I'm like... Yeah, relegation candidates. This one here is just where they are alphabetically, so that one probably doesn't count. But still, they haven't been doing that good. Uh, Tactics-wise, we are... Um, Tactics-wise, we're still lining up the same in our 4-3-3 uh, three tactic here. Um, we're going to have Redmond in goal. I'm, I was, you know, remember how I was a bit iffy on Redmond? I think he is the man... Had a lot of bids coming in over the summer for him, up to 20 million. Uh, and so I bumped him, asking price up to 30. He loves the club, so I don't think I'm going to sell him yet. He had a good season last year, second best defense we had in the league, so I think he could be good. Um, and the fact that there's no other young goalkeepers out there, he's going to stay with us for a while. We've got Dan Heath on the right. Uh, he's you know, 40k from Tunbridge, and he's worth 3.7 million now. 13 uh, assists last year. Good stuff. Um, on the other side, we've got the man, the myth. He's not really a myth. He's just the legend, Captain Kane Dean. 26 years old. Only 26 still. Um, he doesn't look that great, but he's fast, and he's a great leader, and he's got some decent stats here and there. I've always thought he would struggle at some point after... Um, I mean, his first season was in the lowest league, and that was his worst. And since then, he's he's gone from strength to strength. He had a great season last year in the championship. He is our all-time appearance holder. Uh, he has 30 goals and 58 assists, and I hope he can make the step up, because what a story it would be for him to stay as our left back and just carry this club all the way. I mean, you couldn't make that up. I'd love for him to get in the England squad. He's probably not going to uh, ahead of the likes of Ben Chilwell and uh, and Saka, um, who are, you know, stats-wise, miles better. But eh, you never know. I mean, they only really have one left back, technically, because uh, they play that, but eh, maybe whatever. Anyway, uh, in the middle, we've got, obviously, our stalwart Alan Thompson, 23 years of age as well. 187 games for us under his belt. He's been thrust through leagues. And once again, another one who just seems to get better and better. And he looks pretty good. He's a really good central defender. He's jumping, he's marking, uh, his pace, his positioning. Good stats here. He's, he's, he's relatively brave as well. So I think he could still improve and come really good. Uh, his centre-back partnership has always been a bit of a rocky one. But I think this is Geordie Etten's time to shine. He hasn't had the best of time uh, in the last two years with us, but I feel that this could be his season. And surprisingly, uh, at the base, Jack Newell, our second highest appearance holder with 304 appearances. He had a bit of a... Uh, he's had a couple of tough off-seasons, but uh, Mark Lewis just hasn't looked like he's been able to step his game up. So we are on the lookout for a DMC, but Jack Newell's going to stay on to that 
hold on to that spot for the time being. Leighton Clarkson, the 26-year-old, uh, he is going to sit in that midfield. He's worth 6.25 million. That's ridiculous, considering we got him on a free. He's had a lot of appearances for us, a lot of assists. His form's been down the last two years in the championship, so I'm not sure how he's going to go this season, but, you know... We'll see how it goes. Yam yeah, Helberg, the Swede on the right. Once again, another one who's just adapting to life. Well, getting better. We'd be looking for like the him, the likes of him and Etten uh, to be getting good stats this season. On the left, we've got Chris Starkey. Once again, uh, been with us for all the way. Has he been there all the way? Yeah, all the way. Every single season he's been with us. Um, struggled in the championship last two seasons, but still back 13 goals two years ago, so... Um, he could be a, uh, a, you know, hopefully he can get a bit better. But you think by 26 he would have represented Wales already. His low work rate probably doesn't help on creativity and crossing. But, you know, we're, we're bound by these rules and he's always a good performer. And then obviously we've got our record goal scorer with 206 goals, Will Gurney. Uh, English under 21 caps, valued at 14.5 million. Uh, retrained to now play on that right. Um, He's amazing. Uh, and then obviously up front, big George Nakaji, also capped at under 21 level. You'd think he might get an England call. Not worth as much as Will Gurney. And probably catching him for that <laughs> record goal scoring soon. Pretty pretty uh, low average rating last season, but, uh, but you know, 29 goals in all competitions can't be sniffed at. So that's our starting 11. I've gone through them, you know, a lot of... Th- waste a lot of time. Players we've got uh, other squad players obviously we've got you know the likes of Lynch, Dolan, Donnelly, Mil- Miller, Kavanaugh. Um, Gabriel Prejani has now learned English. He's happy here but the board don't like it so mm, we'll see how he goes. Uh, I'm not sure there. Uh, we've still got Lewington as well. Scott Smith who was our highest transfer fee at one point. Cammy Tate looking for him to have a bit more of a breakout season as with Lassie Holt. Um, and yeah, and obviously uh, Liam Miller, who I haven't mentioned, he is still suspended uh, for that game, but he could really be a uh, a boon player for us with our strike power. So let's go have a look how we do in the Premier League. Newcastle four one four one. Let's kick off our first game in the Premier League as FC United look to. We've, we've got as well, actually, you know, just saying this, we've got derbies against Manchester United and Manchester City. Like, there are three Manchester clubs in the Premier League now. It is crazy times. Get in, Jan Helberg. That's the uh, that's first goal in the Premier League for FC United. His first goal. Oh, and Starkey now. Oh, showing his worth to the club. A couple of guys who I said really needed to uh, kick on and show us what they're made of. And... This is a great start. This is really good. Like I said, Newcastle Wolves, eh, they could be uh, relegation. Kent, oh, excuse me, I've got a big yawn coming in there. Sorry about that. It's quite late because I had some issues with microphone, etc. But anyway, um, yeah. So pumped for this season and Newcastle scoring at half time just before half time not good with their first shot on target Trevor Redmond Dis- disappointing anyway let's restart the second half everyone's looking pretty good pretty fit got a tiny stadium as well when you look at the likes of St James's Park with 45,000 seater it is a big stadium though, to be fair um, oh, that's gutting that's really really gutting I mean this is going to be a tough tough season really really tough we could we could potentially just uh, get relegated that's that's a thing that happens two shots on target in the back of the net is not what you want to see after such a bright start it's going to be gutting if we lose this no a draw, I guess to take that, that's poor though actually, I say we take that, but two shots on target, we let them both in, it's not, I mean it's an okay start away from home, uh, first time in the Premier League, but the fact we were 2-0 up is just, uh, is just a bit gutting, just a bit gutting that is, um, 
Anyway, we've we've got the Wolves game next. We'll get that get that done and dusted. Let's go. All right, guys, back for the Wolves game. Also, as well, something else I've got to mention. Now that we're in the Premier League, I can scout the world, and that's what we've done. We have we are my scouts are out. We've got Central. Yeah, okay, let's get yeah, Oceania, North Africa, Middle East. We've we've been to the good places already, but not a lot there. Anyway. Uh, back for the Wolves game. Everyone's looking good. We have brought in another player, Bruno Sosa Lopez, 18-year-old Portuguese midfielder. He looked all right. He was relatively cheap. He's played in decent games. Um, so I thought, why not? We'll take a punt on this kid uh, and see what he can do. I like his pace and his technique, his acceleration. A uh, little bit weak here. Balance might be an issue, but we'll see. That's what it's the game we're in, is getting in young children. That just is the wrong thing to say that's not what I meant just getting in good young footballers anyway let's go play this game okay before I make some other stupid comment um, mm. but, yeah let's get the game going I think what did, how did Wolves do in their first game they uh, well they played three games so well, we only played two yeah, either way uh, they uh, they won one and lost one, so quite hard to tell. Is that Saeed Benrama? Yep, how was he? 33. And Joe Willock as well. He was only 29. Um, Robbie Gotts. Leaves man. Uh, is it enough looking at the team? Um, pretty quiet 25 minutes. No goal. Excellent. Good. Good. It's a little bit panicky there, just as I'm saying. Pretty quiet. 25 minutes. Get in, Captain Kane Dean. He always pops up with a few goals this season, and they can be very, very vital for us this year. Very vital indeed. If we can, if we could start the season off against Newcastle Wolves here with a win uh, and a draw, oh, that would be awesome. With Thompson rising like a salmon there. And, uh, and getting that one in the back of the net. I'm assuming that's how he scores all, all his goals, being a defender. Uh, everyone's looking pretty good. Jan Helberg has a potential foot injury. Mm, not good. Well, let's bring in our Cosman Lee. Cosman, Cosman Lee. Cosman. Uh, for his debut. We didn't get... Did we get James Sims on last game? We didn't. I thought we did. Hmm. Yes, big George dancing around the corner flag with his first of the season and we are putting Wolves to the sword here. It's good actually because I didn't realise that both these first two games are away from home. So that's a really, really uh, important for us to, to try and grab some points, especially with these teams who are probably going to be uh, in and around this area with us. Uh, we don't want to be uh, we don't really be losing points to uh, to those sort of teams. I don't mind so much losing to your excuse me your Liverpool's and all that kind of Liverpool's and Man Cities. What I don't want is losing games against the likes of Wolves, Brighton. These teams are potentially down the bottom here. Um, I'm, I'm just saying Brighton because they were down the bottom. They could really be good. I'm, I'm not sure uh, in this version. But, um, I mean, and where we are now is what I meant. But, you know, so it's... These are the games that we need to take points from. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Change here with Sims on and Gurney pushing up front. Give George a rest. Just got a little injury. But we've looked pretty good. One goal, Trevor Redmond on eight. It's good to see players, and then that's why we get the injury. Uh, that's right. Push Gurney out onto the left, and we'll just go strikeless for a bit. It is good to see players like Kane Dean, Alan Thompson, uh, Jack Newell on an eight. These are players who, you know, they play National League North. Essentially, was the uh, the uh, the league we were in, National League North. And now they're playing Premier League. That is absolutely nuts. Anyway, that's a good win. Starkey's out for two weeks. That's not great. Um, might be 
Sims playing on the left. Is that a thing we could do? I suppose he's right footed. He could cut in. Uh, and we might go like that. Anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there. That was a pretty good episode. We only got in the two games, but we are eighth in the Premier League with game in hand over some teams, which is handy. Um, solid draw against Newcastle on the first day away. Pretty disappointing, actually, when you think about it. We were 2-0 up and a, uh, a good, solid 3-2 win away as Wolves. Our third game is Tottenham away as well. And we've drawn Halifax in the League Cup. Uh, I'll be playing a massively rotated squad for League Cup because I do not care about it. It is all about Premier League survival. And I have just noted, this is where we're going to come back for. We're going to come back for the first Manchester derby of the season. And the second one's down here with Manchester United. Oh, that's that's actually going to... Well, we're probably going to come back, actually, for Man City. Mm, I'll think about it because I want to try and squeeze both of them in. But it might just be a case of, like, Forest City leads and then come back for... United, Liverpool, Arsenal. That could be an absolute bumper, bumper episodes either way. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I am loving this series so far. I'm really getting into it. Um, just remember as well, one last thing. If you do fancy getting your name in the game, uh, just let me know. There's a lot of players here. We can just change names to willy-nilly. So if you want to, just comment down below. Say, hey, can I have uh, this name? doesn't have to be your name, any name, within reason. Uh, and uh, I'll change some of those names up for you. Other than that, guys, please hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.